Uh, hello, and welcome back to Trip's Tales. Tonight, we're taking another look at Island Walker. Episode 11, Island Walker. Eric held his breath as he stepped foot into the bar. He hadn't been to one since he decided to fix his problem and a sense of dread washed over him. Temptation, thirst. This would be a struggle he'd have to overcome. Get out of my way if you're just going to stand there, Harold demanded and strolled up to the counter. Bart and Buren followed, Eric eventually after. The rustic bar held various wooden tables and chairs, as well as a circular er area Eric would have called Booze Central. Customers chatted amongst each other, none quite looking like the Vikings Eric and Bart had walked in with. Around the ceiling were decorative tentacles, which grabbed doors or poles around the bar. Why are there tentacles? Bart asked, taking a seat on a stool. Because the tourists think that the Hafkafa, I'm sorry, Kraken, is a giant squid. Stupid tourists, but we have to appeal to them. What can I get for you boys? The bartender slid down to meet them. I'll have... Eric started by instinct. The others stared at him, and he faulted. Stupid, stupid. Uh, er, uh, water. <laughs> That's one water, my usual herald. You know me well, Liam. Best bartender in all of Norway. Harold clasped on his shoulder. And they all want Akovic shots, too. Bart and Mir nodded. I'll have whatever, Bart admitted. Liam scribbled on a notepad. Perfect, and all this on your tab? <laughs> when is it not? <laughs> Harold laughed as Liam went to go grab the drinks. All right. So, uh, where are your uh, exes? Eric asked, rubbing his hands together and doing his mind, doing his best to keep his mind off booze. All around, just trying to find one that might be helpful. Harold scanned the room. You all right, Eric? Bart asked. Yeah, fine, just hoping to leave the bar soon. Nora! Harold recognized and shot up. Liam placed the drinks behind them, three shots each. Bjorn and Harold kicked them back like water and approached the blonde woman by herself on the far side. Bart tried to keep up, but was lightweight compared, lightweight compared to these beasts. No sooner had Bart downed the shots than was stumbling over himself. Eric did his best to support him, but his shaking made it nearly impossible. Hello, Eric, darling! <laughs> Hello, Bart. The woman had frazzled hair and had a look that could repel mosquitoes. She was in no mood for games. In her hands was a large cup that she seemed to hold for warmth. Nora took a swig and stared straight ahead. Hello, Harold. Didn't think I'd see you standing over me again. <laughs> Can we put that behind us for a second? Uh, I need to ask you a quick question. And then we'll be out of your hair, I promise, Harold said. Nora looked past Harold and to the others. Who are your friends? Oh, this is my old friend Bjorn, and friends of Bjorn, they're scientists. They're really the ones with the question. What's his problem? She poured out the professors. I think I've had a little too much to drink, dear, eh? Bart slurred out. Not you. S -s Sorry. I qu quit drinking, and it's so hard in the bar. Nora laughed. <laughs> I like this one. He has spirit. Fine, ask your question, but it has to come from the stuttering man. I like his voice. Eric knew she was mocking him, but didn't have much of a choice. D -d -d Did you know Dag where where he went? What is this all about, Harold? Are you jealous? Didn't expect you to come crawling back after what you did. No, lady! Bart dejected. We're going to find a Kraken! He, Bart threw up a hand to emphasize the point, throwing him off balance from Eric's grasp and crashed into the ground. Eric rushed to pick him up. A Kraken? Then you must be looking for Dag. He strung quite the story, and boy could he string. Great, Harold replied, not enthusiastic. Do you know where he went after he left here? Did he say where he was going? He said something about buying a new and improved boat. 
But we would know his name as a great fisherman or something. But I haven't seen him since that night. Where did you stay, Orbel? His house, of course. W what's the d d d dress? Eric grew excited and felt he had to chime in. I don't remember, but I could take you there. No! Errol spat out. Is there a landmark or something nearby? I can come along and help. <laughs> no, no, no. I do not think so. We do not need any of your help. Do you have a gun? Of course, we have me and Bjorn! Nor left. <laughs> I've seen you shoot, and if Bjorn is any worse, you're hopeless. You'll need me, and I can be sneaky. Yeah, right. Harold, I've had a gun trained on you the entire time. Harold looked under the table, and Nora held a pistol firmly and calmly, pointing directly at him. I see. Wow! Bart exclaimed. She's good! I s s second. Harold needed to have someone with a little more subtlety in the group, and they picked up a few, few more Bjorns he'd he was afraid he'd have to start drinking again. Third, <clears throat> Bjorn said, I am going to have to serve with my friends here. She will not appear to be terrible companion. Fine, but what do you really want, Nora? Harold asked. To see this Hafkefer, of course. Dag did promise we could go on his big new boat and see for ourselves, but we haven't heard from him since. Out of the question. We can discuss on the uh, way, Bjorn suggested. Bjorn, stay out of this. Harold, we may need her help anyway. Let her help us now, and we can decide if we need to ditch her later. My friend. Later. Fine, Harold huffed. But she goes in her own car. I don't want to see her until we get there. We stormed out of the bar. We greatly appreciate your help, Nora. I apologize for my old friend, Bjorn said. It's okay. He has always been like this, as far as I've known him anyway. <laughs> Probably since I killed his dog. What? The group paid and left, Eric struggling in the back, holding a fading Bart. Next time, I'm waiting outside. <laughs> yes. What will happen next time? We'll find out right here on Trips Tales.